Hello, it's Matthew from Matthew North Music and today I am in the sunny, sunny grounds of Middlewick House in Wiltshire. Now, this is a home owned by a rock star and if I turn my camera around and you look at these cars behind me, you might be able to guess who owns a house like this. Well, being a rock star that's probably got one of the greatest collections of cars of any musician alive today, there's no doubt that this was the star attraction at this event. It kind of also had a real village fate vibe about it, with lots of stalls, sideshows and food. There was also a collection for the local air ambulance, which is kind of one of the main charities that they're supporting. Plenty more cars to see then, and uh, here's another red Ferrari. I have absolutely no idea what model it is or anything, but it's worth a lot of money. Now, I don't know how many people have attended over the course of the two days, but there were certainly several thousand people there, I would imagine. It seems to be a very popular event, both for local people and for people such as myself who travelled a fair distance. And here's some more cars. This is a Porsche, I believe. And here's a nice old Ford. Nick Mason even has some pigs, although I only spotted one of them. There certainly wasn't three. And look here, a pink car called Floyd. At the front of the house there was even more vintage motor cars and it is a very, very beautiful looking house. There's certainly nowhere in the southwest of England that you could see as many fine motor vehicles as this outside of Bewley. I suppose as well, if there wasn't people like Nick Mason in the world, where would these cars be now? I suspect probably in large collections kept undercover in museums or private collections in America and places. So it's really good, I think, that Nick does, uh, does um, keep these things and let people look at them. Well, I've been to a few now, but this is definitely a real rock star's house. Now this probably is the best background view you could possibly have to look out of when you wake up in the morning. Making my way into the kind of walled in garden area, it almost felt like I was at the Chelsea Flower Show because there's certainly a lot of effort has been put in and we're not quite at the, uh, the peak of the garden yet. But I mean who wouldn't want to have a garden like this? I mean it is pretty fantastic. And there's a nice uh, big greenhouse they've got as well. But plenty of colour. Well, I guess nothing says being a rock star more than having a massive collection of really valuable rare cars, a beautiful house, loads of land, but also having your own private wood. Being in this wood kind of reminded me of walking up the old railway line track in Buffy Tracy where I grew up. Very kind of similar feel, bits of old tree on the ground, very pleasant, very nice indeed. Look at that, funky dung. <laughs> Back to more cars then, and this one has a distinct Floyd feel about it. And uh, there's another, I think, Ferrari next door in Ferrari red and why it would need a tow bar I have no idea or whether that's to tow a caravan which you possibly do I suppose anyhow all this looking at cars is making me start to feel a little bit peckish to avoid any confusion this is how you make a tea cream tea you have your scone you have your cream and then your jam anyone that does it with the jam on first is an idiot. Now this is the bit many Floyd fans came for, the signing. 
and there was a big queue. And if you look in the distance, there he is, Mr. Mason himself, having a few selfies taken with members of the rock choir who performed earlier in the day. The signing session was due to start at three o'clock. However, by half past two, they'd stopped anybody from joining the queue because they said there was just not enough time for a signing session. So alas, I and many others lost out. Anyhow, there was plenty of people there wanting stuff to be signed. But after that disappointment, I decided to have one last little wander around before making my way home. And I met another one of the family pets. For many people then, this could be the star of the show. This is Nick's Ferrari, which is called a 250 GTO. And apparently it's worth something in the order of 25 million pounds. Here's a look at a few more cars. I've no idea really what they are. I guess they're all Ferraris, but you know, they got four wheels and they go very fast. This one looks quite old. Oh, it's probably a Jaguar. I kind of guessed that from the thing on the front. And here's another Ferrari, this is a blue one. I guess you don't see them in blue all that often. And here's another old car. Again, I don't quite know what it is, but it looks very nice. Well, there you have it. Not a bad little day out in uh, the lovely Wiltshire countryside. And even though I didn't get to meet Nick Mason again, you know, one of these things that happens isn't it and uh, you know lovely place he's got here lovely day out and uh, you know next year if you fancy a day out looking somewhere very historic then for eight quid you can't go wrong really anyway that's it for now thanks for watching